Ladies and gentlemen, in 2020, the Buffalo Bills defense started out horribly, but the bleeding was somewhat stopped after their bye week. The same could be said about the Bills' pass rush, which was tame early in the season, but it kicked up towards the middle and end of the regular season, but was far too inconsistent during the playoffs. There is a serious need for another disruptor on the defensive line, someone that can complement an aging but effective Jerry Hughes. That complement could be J.J. Watt. The Bills were 15th in sacks in 2020, registering 38 on the season. They performed worse off in 2020 than they did in during their dominant 2019 season, and it is clear that general manager Brandon Bean needs to revamp the defensive line. Mario Addison was invisible for most of the season. Ed Oliver is teetering on the edge of becoming a bust. Quentin Jefferson was a decent rotational piece but was invisible most of the time. Trent Murphy continued to be a cap casualty and Vernon Butler was non-existent. I can see Vernon Butler and Tyler Croft likely being the cap casualties and the eventual cuts if the Bills decide to go in the direction of J.J. Watt. In 2020, J.J. Watt had only 5 sacks, which doesn't look any better than what Mario Addison had. But if you dive into his on-field impact, you will find that it is on par, if not better than Jerry Hughes, who was by far the Bills' best defensive lineman this past season. He had 14 tackles for loss, 2 forced fumbles, and played every game last season, quelling some of his injury concerns. It is to be noted that he was the best piece of a leaky and awful Texans defense and pass rush, so oftentimes he would be double teamed by offensive lines. He should be commanding top dollar this free agency period, given his track record as a three-time defensive MVP, and there will be betters. But he would fit nicely in Buffalo. An aging star looking to win a ring for a Super Bowl contender? He can get that with the Bills. It's not so certain he can get that in Pittsburgh or Baltimore, considering how well Buffalo dismantled them both this past season. J.J. Watt would provide the Bills some flair on the defensive line. It would satisfy Watt's urge to go to a contender. It would give defensive coordinator Leslie Frazier a perfect defensive lineman for his defensive scheme, and it would create an elite one-two punch with Hughes and J.J. Watt. If Brandon Bean and the Bills can find a way to, with the money, through trades or cuts, they have to go for him. Talents like this don't just enter free agency all the time, and if the Bills really want to win a Super Bowl, now is the time. Get J.J. Watt Buffalo. You won't regret it.